this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 73. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find if STMM, Self Tuning Memory Manager is active or idle. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to find if the STMM is active or idle. So if you see the DBCFG, there is a parameter self underscore tuning underscore mem which you can set to on or off. So um, if you want to enable STMM, so by setting this DBCFG parameter, you are only enabling the STMM. So that doesn't mean that it is doing some active tuning of the memory area. Uh, it can be in an idle state as well. So why it will be idle? So it, there needs to be more than one memory consumer available for tuning. So then only the STMM after enabling the STMM, it will do some active tuning of the memory areas. So what are the certain memory areas? Uh, database shared memory, buffer pools, package cage, uh, lock manager heap, uh, sort heap and the total uh, shared sort memory region. Okay, So all these memory uh, regions uh, can be tuned by STMM. You can make it available for tuning by setting the these parameters to automatic. So if you set these parameters, all these parameters to some fixed uh, uh, numbers like that, right? fixed values, then they will not be enabled or considered for uh, automatic tuning or the self tuning uh, memory manager so what is the solution so how, how do you find like let's assume that you know uh, uh, the memory consumers are available and stmm is doing some work so how do i find that whether it is an active state or there is an idle state so for that the simple solution is use the db2 get dbcfg show detail command so uh, th there will be a parameter uh, the display will be there stmm on so if it is on if it is off it is going to be off uh, in, in the brackets, it will say whether it is active or inactive. So it is very simple. So either you can use sysibmadm.dbcfg view, so which is the, the same command only, it's just an admin view. Uh, another method is to, in the instance home directory, sqlib db2 dump directory, stmm log directory is there, inside which there are multiple log files will be available stmm.0.log, stmm.1.log, stmm.2.log, like that. So take the latest log file and you will have to go through the log files and find out the same kind of entry will be there stmm uh, on active or stmm on inactive like that entries will be there so let me uh, show you with an example here so here i have uh, started the instance so i'm going to connect to the sample database and i am updating the dbcfg look at here i'm uh, setting all the uh, I'm enabling the self-tuning memory uh, on, but I'm setting all the memory consumers to some fixed value. Okay, and I'm also setting all the buffer pools to fixed value, and I'm doing a connect reset. So let me just quickly do this. Okay, so you can see I'm connecting to the sample database. Okay. Okay, so updating the parameters. So you can see self-tuning memory on, database memory, lock list, max locks, package gate, so sort heap, everything is fixed values and default uh, buffer pools are also fixed values. So I'm doing a connect reset for the changes to take effect. So now I'm going to again connect back and I'm running this query, okay. So dbcfg query I'm running back, okay. So you can see that, see here, so my buffer pools are fixed uh, values my both the buffer pools are fixed values my database memory is fixed lock list is fixed uh, max locks is fixed package cage is fixed so you can see that self tuning memory is on but it is inactive because at the database uh, cfg level the parameter is on but it has no memory consumers to tune actually because everything is fixed size so so it is going to be in inactive state so even though if it is enabled but it is still in an inactive state so what can you do for that uh, so I can immediately change like I want to give some memory consumer right so I'll update uh, the dbcfg package cage size to automatic so I'll run again the same uh, query okay? so you can see that now the self tuning memory became active see now you can wonder I have given only one uh, memory consumer right there should be two memory consumers uh, uh, as automatic setting right but there is only one automatic setting that is because the sort heap memory area will be considered for self tuning uh, even if you don't say automatic explicitly so uh, that 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 is why the stmm is on active it will tune the package cage and the sort in our example sort memory area and package cage it will tune okay so this is how we can easily uh, simply find out uh, whether a particular uh, uh, whether the stmm is active 
and uh, doing some work or not okay so it, it can be it will show either active or inactive so here i am using the sys ibm db sys ibm adm dot db cfg you can use db to get uh, cfg show detail command as well and i am using syscat dot buffer pools and doing a union all query and just uh, you know to give you the summarized display of all the various memory consumers what are their values whether they are automatic or whether they are set manually like that you can easily find out from this query okay hope this information was useful to you uh, thanks for uh, watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye